welcome to another video lecture presented by science tutor uh, this morning we'll cover the characteristics of living organism all right in order for any organism to be classified as living they must possess all the following characteristic or behavior or quality to help me memorize all of them the phrase mering which you can see here in blue right mering and from that you can see the meaning of each letter uh, movement uh, excretion respiration reproduction irritation and growth movement is as you can see the locomotion of the organism or part of the organism so for humans it is basically walking or moving an arm or a leg right if a plant is in a dark room or in a room where half is dark and half is lit right the plant will eventually start growing towards the part that is lit all right so even though it doesn't move um in terms of a an all or an entire organism it moves in terms of branches right um why is it important for organism to move it's important because it allows them to escape from predator to for themselves to catch prey right to find suitable habitat right our living space escape uh, disease so escape disease all right find mate and hence after finding a mate one can reproduce all right so you understand the importance of movement next is excretion as you can see excretion is the removal of a metabolic waste and uh, not just waste but in other words that waste must experience some metabolic breakdown all right for example metabolic waste includes sweat uh, you have uh, chloride uh, you may have um, sodium being excreted and probably a small amount of potassium all right you have urea from your urine um, you have a carbon dioxide all right for plants a waste may be oxygen it is important to understand that excretion is the removal of metabolic waste and nothing else for example when you defecate that is not excretion that is classified as ejection so when you eat you ingest when you break down the food you digest and when you get rid of it it's called ingest so feces or fecal matter is not excretion so please bear that in mind all right as i gave you a list uh, make sure you can memorize it and finally we have respiration as it's written here is the utilization of chemical energy and this is in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate um, as we do further study you'll understand what this is all about but respiration can be of two types aerobic where you use oxygen to help in the metabolic process and anaerobic where it is the absence of oxygen right absence of oxygen and it is in this absence that energy is released okay 